This week we have reviewed the dilemma of returning to the office and the impact on cities. The return to work on offices means that places will open up and people will become more mobile. In June 2020, 88% of employees who had work at home during lockdown reported that they would like to continue working at home in some capacity. 47% of employees wanted to work at home often or all of the time. Home working is positively associated with qualifications. The proportion of graduates reporting that they worked exclusively at home rose from 8% before lockdown to 62.4% in the first month of the lockdown. And there is a clear occupational pattern of home working with a majority of those working from home being in professional, associate professional and managerial occupations. For businesses, home working can reduce cost and potentially increase productivity. But there are also the corporate risks of bringing people back into an environment which may end in illness and quarantine, thereby reducing the workforce and bringing risk of litigations. For employers, the experience of home working appears to have shifted opinions of many employers regarding previous barriers around reliability of IT, trust and productivity away from the office. Low-paid service workers have no choice but to return, even though for many occupations they are at high risk. There are also risks for those that rely more on face-to-face -face contact and may not be covered by employment rights. And besides, not everyone can work from home efficiently. Some do not have the space at home or access to a quality broadband. For some, this will lead to greater socioeconomic inequalities. So if this summary is of interest to you, do go on to our website and read more about these issues and what we can do about them.